Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 11th, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. Now keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you, okay? So take what resonates and leave the rest. The timing is fluid, so this could happen at any time, today, tomorrow, the next couple of days, something like that. May not happen at all. Mm. These two just fell out. We got the Three of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. So it feels like we have this Queen of Pentacles is waiting for something. So it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that's waiting, but it could be anybody. This is somebody that is focusing on themselves probably, maybe focusing on their work. Queen of Pentacles is very devoted to her home, her family, her children, uh, her business, waiting for something. Somebody is waiting for something, waiting for an arrival. It's Queen of Pentacles looks like she has something um, big in her hands, a big, huge opportunity in her hands, right? I mean, it's, it is. I mean, this Queen of Pentacles is uh, very grounded, very down-to-earth, laid-back, loyal. There's loyalty here. She has a whole, yeah, opportunity right in the palm of her hands. Romance is in the air as well because of the flowers, okay? You see the flowers? There's romance. Somebody may be, I'm not sure what's going on with these flowers. I just I zoomed right in on those flowers. Um, three of Wands. You may have somebody here that is at a distance. They're at a distance. It feels like she's very focused on uh, her stability. She's focused on her stability. She's just waiting for something. Oh, that Three of Wands. That Three of Wands. Looks like we have somebody here that is... I don't know if they're not noticing because this person's back is turned to the Queen of Pentacles. Their back is turned. They're going in a different direction. Somebody may be going in a different direction. They may be choosing another path. Somebody appears to be choosing another path. You see the two of wands behind this person. It's like in choosing to go in totally in a different direction. So it is. It's told somebody's choosing to go in a totally different direction. They've made a decision because the two of wands is behind. They they've made a decision to expand their horizons, maybe travel. Maybe choosing to, you know, hold on, hold on to her own stability. We have somebody here that is very stable, very solid, very practical, down to earth, laid back. They've obviously made a decision. Somebody has made a decision to go in a different direction. It may have something to do with travel. I'm not sure. Three of Wands. Focusing on the future, fo thinking about the future, being practical. Somebody's thinking about the future. Whoever this person that is thinking about the future is very stable, abundant, solid. No. Magician reversed. Right? I was clarifying that Queen of Pentacles. Queen, and so somebody may be saying no, telling somebody no. The magician reverse is a no answer. Not, not willing, not willing to. Somebody may be choosing to just focus on themselves, self-value, self-value, because that's value. No, not interested. Uh, the magician reversed. The magician reversed is no, not taking any action. There could be something that is happening that is unplanned. There could be an unplanned arrival here as well. Could be an unplanned departure as well. Um... There could be somebody at a distance that is that is coming. This person is at a distance. They're good there. Maybe she's just focused on her business. She's focused on her job. The Queen of Pentacles is very focused. 
Okay, very focused on her stability and, you know, her home and her business, whatever. Very business oriented. This may be a business woman or business person who is very solid, stable. Doesn't need anybody to take care of them. Not taking any action. Not. No. Unwilling. Unwilling to do something. <clears throat> Temperance reversed. Unwilling to make any sacrifices. Unwilling to compromise. We got somebody here that is unwilling to compromise. They're unwilling to change. <coughs> Temperance reversed. Re-examining. I think we have somebody here that is re-examining a situation. Not ready not ready um profound self-healing is happening somebody may be going overboard i mean temperance reversed is an uneasiness it's frustrated it's moody it's uh unbalanced not ready not ready Somebody's not ready. Temperance reversed. It's not time. Ten of swords on the bottom. Liberation, freedom. I feel like we have somebody here that may be choosing. to not engage or not accept because temperance is a card of acceptance and it's a no it's no i'm not i'm not willing no i'm not willing with the magician reverse no i'm not willing i'm not willing to compromise i'm not willing to um accept something somebody is unwilling to accept now queen of pentacles is very stubborn as well okay Ten of Swords reversed. This is uh, liberation. It's freedom. It's freedom. Unwilling to accept change. Not ready. Somebody's not ready. They're not ready. There is some sort of repeating negative patterns here with the temperance reversed as well magician reversed is manipulation not taking any action not ready to get together mm. ten of wands overwhelmed overwhelmed too busy we got somebody here that has a lot of demands. They have a lot of demands. They have a lot of responsibilities. They're carrying a heavy weight. They're carrying uh, a heavy burden. And there's a need to uh, moderate. Somebody needs to moderate th themselves. They need to do something with moderation. But the temperance reverse is unhealthy behavior. We may have somebody here that hasn't successfully maintained their baggage or whatever it is so maybe they need to or they're going to say no i'm too busy or i'm too weighed down or i'm too overwhelmed right now i feel like somebody's going to be pushed away Ten of Wands, overwhelmed. We got somebody here that has too many responsibilities. They're not willing to drop those responsibilities. Or somebody didn't hasn't successfully let go of something. And it's something that's weight could be weight. It could be, you know, an unhealthy temperance reverse is unhealthy. It's unhealthy, unhealthy weight. Okay, there's somebody is that they're either they need, they need to focus, okay? 
They need to focus. They need to focus on their self-value. They need to focus on themselves. I feel like we have somebody here that is neat. And the magician is a, is a card of self. It is. Somebody needs to focus on their self. They need to focus on healing themselves before they engage. It's like it's not time Ten of Wands, really, really heavy. It's like a heavy burden. It's a heavy weight. This is too much. No. This is unhealthy. There is some unhealthy behavior here too. There is un. In, there's impulsive, unhealthy behavior. Somebody needs to get grounded. They need to uh, put effort in. They need to work on themselves. and get prepared. Right now it's about getting prepared. Getting prepared for what they want. Getting prepared for something real and solid and stable. But you have to be real and solid and stable yourself, right? You need to focus on your stability. Whether you're male or female, focus on your stability. Somebody, I feel like somebody's gonna to be told no because they're dealing with an individual that is either too busy or this person is 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 not feeling healthy or they're not healthy or they're over or they're overwhelmed or they're uh, focusing on other things right now now the ten of swords is upright and the five of cups so grieving we have the five of cups five of cups is grieving it's crying over the spilled milk this is the end, okay? Ten of Swords is the end of a situation. It's the death. It's the end. It's a goodbye. Telling somebody goodbye. We, we, I feel like we have somebody here that is not taking an opportunity. Maybe it's because they uh, are still in some sort of pain. There's still some sort of pain here. We have somebody here that is still grieving over a loss. Or something like that. I mean, grieving, mourning a loss. It's painful. There is a painful loss here. Somebody could be leaving. They're turning their back on this individual. Now, I don't know who it is. Some, I feel like there is somebody that is leaving. They're leaving an individual that is unwilling to compromise. That's what they're doing. This person, you know, they're leaving an individual that is unwilling to compromise. This person is too focused on money. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles is very focused on money, okay? It's just the way it goes. Okay, Queen of Pentacles is all about abundance, all about money and materialistic things. I mean, it's the truth. unwilling to cooperate we have somebody here that is unwilling we have a queen of pentacles that is unwilling to cooperate she's holding on to something maybe she's holding on to the money she's unwilling to give it she's unwilling to compromise so there it's causing a departure somebody is leaving this person She's sitting on her throne all high and mighty. <sighs> Ten of Swords, this is goodbye. This is goodbye. Somebody is saying goodbye. They're saying goodbye. Queen of Pentacles could be anybody. There's no success here. This is this is uh you're unwilling to compromise. You're unwilling to let go. You're unwilling to cooperate. Goodbye. Goodbye. See ya. Somebody is definitely turning back on this individual that is more focused on money or other things than they are a relationship. There's some sort of unhealthy behavior here. Somebody is, is very uh, selfish, unwilling, unwilling to give up, very much unwilling to give up. 
or give in. Going overboard, going to extremes. We have somebody here that is going to extremes. This is somebody that is very, very selfish. There's pain involved with the Ten of Swords. This hurts. And it, with the, right next to the Five of Cups, it hurts. Some, I feel like we have a feminine that is pushing a masculine away. Seriously. Or the masculine is just turning their back on this feminine because, you know, you're unwilling to cooperate. You're unwilling to compromise. You're unwilling to give. You're unwilling to bring any success. You know, I, I've done everything I can to prove to you. You know, and this is too much. It's overwhelming. It's overwhelming. This is heavy. It's a heavy burden. Somebody's been, you know, holding on to an individual that is unwilling to cooperate. This person will not cooperate for any reason whatsoever. Oh, my goodness gracious. The end. Goodbye. Five of Pentacles. This is about money. This is about money. It's about financial hardship. We have somebody here that is struggling. They're struggling financially. And I feel like they're dealing, I feel like they're dealing with a, a, a feminine that is um, not giving, not giving, not willing to give. Very, very, very stubborn. This person's like holding on to all the money, will not give the money, very selfish. And they've been on thin ice. This, this person's been on thin ice for a while anyway. Unwilling. Definitely. This woman or feminine is absolutely unwilling. Unwilling to give anything. And, 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 and it feels like... It feels like this is too much. It's too much. I mean, I can't do it all by myself. No. It feels like somebody asks their their feminine for money or something, and the, and the feminine says no, and it causes a departure or something, you know? It could even be a boss. Somebody could be asking for a raise, whatever. I, there is, like, a financial issue here. We got the Queen of Pentacles, and we have the Five of Pentacles. So that's financial hardship. You know, that is that is uh, refusing. It's refusing. Page of Swords. That is a message of conflict. Somebody, so there's going to be a conflict. There is. There's going to be a conflict. It's a conflict of interest, these two people. There is two people here that don't see eye to eye. Somebody's going to be turning their back. There's probably going to be uh, some words that are said. Okay, I don't think it's going to be nice. I don't think it's going to be nice at all. It's almost like somebody makes an approach. Uh, they make an approach. They ask for something, you know, and it causes an argument. I do think there's going to be an argument here. There's a message that is coming. It may not be what you want to hear. Somebody may be, I feel like we have somebody here that is asking, you know, somebody for either a raise or money or something like that. And they get told no. And it causes somebody to go in a different direction completely. Yeah, no. No success. Leaving without saying goodbye. Somebody may be leaving without saying goodbye. There's This is like no success. And the magician reversed is no success as, as well. We also have somebody here that may have some addictions. We may have somebody here that has some addictions. This is a completely different story. I just saw it, okay? Somebody may be going overboard with their addictions, okay? They're carrying a lot of emotional baggage. They can't master their emotions. And they've been on thin ice and they've been struggling financially and they could be doing something impulsive and, you know, they could go overboard, just being honest with you, and they could be a sudden departure. I mean, because there's grieving over a loss here with the Five of Cups and the Ten of Swords. That is grieving over a loss. 
somebody is leaving. Somebody is leaving. And I feel like it's very suddenly because in the Three of Wands, the decision is made. And then the Ace of Wands in this person's hands, it's suddenly. So I do feel like there is a sudden departure that is going to cause some sort of, I don't know, sadness. I feel like it's sadness. I feel like it's... Uh, Somebody's about, it may have, to, I hate to say this, but I, I mean, I don't know if it's, if it has to do with a family member, um, you know, hopefully it doesn't, it could be a child, I mean, I hate to say that, um, because we have the Queen of Pentacles, a mother, and the Page of Swords is a child, but it doesn't have to be, um, anyhow, um, what else, what else, a message is coming, it may not be what you want to hear. This is rock bottom, the Ten of Swords. This is the death of a situation. It is the end. It is the end of suffering. We have somebody here that uh, has been, I don't know, abandoned, neglected. I mean, we got the Page of Swords. Underneath it is the Five of Pentacles. That's abandoned, neglected, ghosted, left out in the cold, refusing to get help, refusing to accept help. And then we have Temperance Reverse, which is going overboard, uh, unable to restrain, you know, going too far, going really too far, you know, inappropriate behavior here. So I feel like we have some inappropriate behavior here or, or unhealthy behavior, you know, where somebody, you know, this person refuses to take action to get help and, you know, they could go overboard. And I hate to say that, but, you know. The world reversed is lack of success. It's 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 flogging a dead horse, resisting change. Somebody's resisting change, and that's that's for everybody. That is resisting change, flogging a dead horse, staying uh, stuck in the past, or refusing to focus on the future. Uh, I do believe we have somebody here that's gonna be told no. Okay, they're going to be told no. They're going to be, they may be making an offer to somebody and they get told no, and that could cause a departure. I mean, that's pretty darn clear. Um, we have an individual that is probably not healed, you know, and profound self healing is needed. And there's a lot of baggage here that needs to be released before they can be free of this. overwhelming it's like an overwhelming sense of pressure you know yeah you somebody here that is under pressure completion completion there's gonna be a completion get prepared somebody is leaving goodbye this is a message that you don't want to hear this person is sick of being neglected you think of temperance reverse that's sick five of pentacles neglected Sick of being led in the wrong direction. Sick of carrying all this weight. Carrying all the weight. And this could actually have to do with somebody's weight. We have somebody here that needs to get their weight under control. Temperance is, is lack of moderation. Ten of Wands is a heavy weight. So we got somebody here that needs to make changes. They need, and they may, maybe they're going to receive, I mean, the Queen of Pentacles could be a doctor. Okay, this is somebody that is is uh, very skilled, has some sort of skill. Somebody is going to receive some information that they don't want to hear that probably, you know, they don't want to die. If you don't want to die, I mean, the Ten of Swords could be a death. You know, you're going to have to uh, take action. Magician reverse, that's, that, that's not taking any action, you know. Somebody is going to receive a message that they don't want to hear. Thin ice. You're on thin ice. Somebody's on thin ice. Very thin ice. Hmm. Page of Pentacles. Now it's upright. Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles is a new, a new endeavor. Focusing, finding your focus, finding your back. Bone, you know, finding your uh, ability to follow through with a task. Um, so we do have somebody here that is going to be given an opportunity that 
to start over. This is starting over. They may be deciding to go down a new path. They may, they may be. They may be they're deciding to uh, do something that they've never done before. Maybe they're taking an opportunity that was presented to them that they were reluctant to take at one time. I mean, this is taking an opportunity, refocusing, setting new goals, is setting new goals. It's time to set new goals. Somebody is going to be starting over, planning, making plans. They could be moving with that three of wands, the first card. That could be moving. It's it's uh, going someplace. Somebody's definitely going someplace. They're going down a new path. They are. They are. And I think they're going down that path because wherever they've been is extremely unhealthy temperance reverse and there's too much it's too much it's very overwhelming I do believe that we have a uh, a setback here okay a setback with the wheel of fortune reversed I feel like this is uh, a delay in success we have somebody here that uh, it's bad luck. It is bad luck. They're stopping. It's like they're stopping themselves from success, which I can see. I've already talked about that. We have somebody here that is stopping themselves from success because they're carrying something that they need to let go of. Okay. This is definitely no. It's a no. It's a no. You need to stop. You need to stop. You may need to take a time out. Profound self-healing is needed. Some this is a this can be a shock. Maybe it's just bad timing. Bad timing. It's not the right time. going backwards somebody may be going backwards they really need to bring balance to their lives they need to let go of the burden they need to let go of the baggage they need to let go of the weight they need to heal themselves before they fall I mean there's a fall here there is a fall they fall through the ice, you know, or drown. Um, this is goodbye. Going down a new path to prosperity, starting on a new path, going through a new door, setting new goals, starting over, focusing focusing on a new project or a new endeavor or a, a new uh, opportunity starting over. So I do believe that we have somebody here that is probably going to receive a message that they don't want to hear. Good luck.